bum, ba, dum, ba. Oh, I didn't start singing John Cena. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, and we're back, Evie. Back, 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 back. I'm hoping to fix this with my backness. We are back with Ruby, Volume 4, Episodes 1 and 2. The title will be in the description. The title of this will be the actual episodes, though, compiled as a whole, as I don't do volume titles. So, either way, though, volume episodes, uh, volume four, episodes one and two. Continuing off of the Fall of Beacon volume, <laughs> as everything fell apart, and more World of Remnant volume, where things start awakening as far as powers go, certain maidens, and things like that. So, in representation of Ruby coming back, I'm also wearing something that involves a hoodie, but not with the hood, as I look weird. <laughs> um yeah that's it that's it i'm excited i hope you guys enjoy the new thumbnail that i'm uh created and worked on for volume four i got a bit more of like i got better at how thumbnails are made so uh most likely for this like you'll get something fun um definitely I, i'm just excited to start volume four because it's it leads to my favorite volume which is five i think it is it's not four it's five because this one's kind of like a little bit slower if i remember I don't remember the details of this one. I just know, like, we get a bit more background on the bad guys and the people and the situations. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's just get started in three, two... Oh, and actually, before I begin it, uh, just quick disclaimer. Well, I don't, really, I don't want to say disclaimer, but basically, uh, I have family. So, unfortunately, you're going to hear Rock Band in the background. So, uh, and hopefully, I can keep my volume levels at a... But um, other way, let's do this. Wherever I have Ruby, wherever it's up. I'm trying to work on new angles this week for my video recordings and then keep those angles permanent. You. Oh, look at the animation now. Holy crud, wait, we're already jumping into the crisp animation now? That's cool, we start with the werewolf grim. The grim that started it all. Yeah, we're in better animation territory. This is where they're born out of. Oh! You get my handy dandy? Notebook. That's a mini screwdriver, that is not a pen. Oh, yeah, they get to, they're like, oh god, they're like, why are we here? Oh, yeah, this is everything that's much better. Huh? Oh, new villains! And she's still alive. Yes, yes, please keep your posse in check. <laughs> you hear that? Silence. I have half the mind to thank the little girl who bested you. If I were you, I'd hunt her down. <laughs> Find her, and... Well, she took your eye, didn't she? <laughs> she has got screw looses. Can't talk. <laughs> Pathetic. Why did you eat? <laughs> oh, you can just feel the evil. <laughs> Oh, his name is Watts. That's right. <laughs> I think I don't know this. Jeez. Necessary? I 
I apologize, ma'am. I'm not particularly fond of failure. Then I see no reason for your cruelty towards young Cinder. She's become our Fall Maiden. Destroyed Beacon Tower. And most importantly... Killed dear Ozpin. So I'm curious. To what failures are you referring? Well... To the girl with the silver eyes. Yes. We've dealt with their killing before. How is it a novice was able to best one of us? My thoughts exactly. Even without her new power, it should have been effortless. It is because of the Maiden's power. Make no mistake, Cinder. You hold the key to our victory. But your newfound strength brings with it a crippling weakness. Which is why you will remain by my side as we continue your treatment. Dr. Watts. You are to take Cinder's place and meet with our informant in Mistral. Very good. Tyrion, I want you to continue your hunt for the Spring Maiden. <laughs> Gladly. And Hazel, I'm sending you to the leader of the White Fang. Adam Taurus has arranged the meeting. The boy continues to prove loyal. Ensure that Sienna Khan feels the same. As you wish. Speak, child. She wants to know... What about the girl? What about her? Seems to me like this is Cinder's problem, not ours. That's enough. Tyrion? Yes, my lady? Spring can wait. Find the girl that did this to Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> and bring her to me. <laughs> He's like, I have to bring her alive. <sighs> All right. Because of your efforts, Beacon has fallen, and Haven will be next. Uh, <laughs> eye for an eye. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's completely bonkers. Seriously, Tyrion, what the crap? I don't. I remember the beginning of this so much. So that was like, what? God, he needs to go. Ah, I just remember the latest season. Tyrion really needs to go. Got a scar. Morning, boy. Arm, boy. I can lie, I just want to hurry up and see Ruby and all of them. It looks so Junior's cool. cool at them. Junior. Junior. <laughs> uh, 
Holy crud! <laughs> Let's get that thing off her. Everyone looks so cool. Don't forget me. <laughs> Nora, be an extra. <laughs> we need to draw its attention away from Ruby. Get him. That's a huge grim, too, though. Gotta get in closer. My blades don't hurt. Where's your shield and sword, John? Crap. How about this? Oh, a lightning shot. Is that lightning dust? <laughs> oh. I'm fine without a weapon. You're the strategist. <laughs> That's it. Oh, Hammer time. Doesn't Nora get stronger if she absorbs electricity? Oh. That's sick. Shoot Nora, that she'll get super powerful. Huh? Oh my gosh. His arm is a tree. His arm is a tree. <laughs> Fire. Nice. That's sick. I didn't realize Ruby was using different cartridges with elements. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice, right the weakness. Nice, Ren. Okay, how do we do this? His body is too thick to break through. It doesn't care about its body. Plus, it can keep stabbing you with random stuff. But it's protecting its face. We can't break it. Uh, Go for the face. Oh, if its limbs off at once, then went for the. Guys, I got it! We hit it harder. Is that it? <laughs> no, seriously, it's trying to keep us from its face. If we kill the limbs, we'll have a shot to kill the whole thing. All right. Come on, team. Let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> right. <laughs> Ren, left. Ruby, right. Nora, ready to try out the new upgrade? Oh. Right. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> 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 Nice. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> Another victory for Team Junior. All right, you know, okay, Ren, I think you're onto something. It, it, it's just not sounding great anymore. <laughs> Team Ranger sounds better. Can't thank you enough. 
just doing our job, sir. That geist had been plaguing our village for weeks. We were beginning to wonder if we'd have to relocate. Well, we are on our way to Mistral. You can always come along with us if you don't feel safe. <laughs> I take it you're not from these parts. Anima is a large continent. I'm afraid our people would never survive the long trek to Mistral. It may be safer in the kingdoms, but we prefer our way of life. I just wish we could pay you more. Our previous arrangement is more than sufficient. <laughs> Ah, the smith shop. There you go, son. It's gonna be heavier than you're used to, but you'll thank me the next time you go up against a set of claws. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. Don't gotta say anything. Just put it on. I'll go get the rest. So, what are you waiting for? Oh, uh, right. I was gonna grow out of it eventually. A sign of progress. <laughs> progress. John's come a long way. <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> what is that? What, my hoodie? <laughs> I've always had this. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> it's got a cute little bunny rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> Ruby. Well, oh, wasn't that funny? We don't have to grow out of everything. <laughs> Can't have a huntsman without his weapon. Made all the modifications you asked for. That was some fine metal you brought me. Accents the white nicely. Where'd you get it from? Yeah, it's all up here is old oh, armor. I know a couple months have passed, so they're really over it by this point, but it still hurts and Pierre is with him now. He looks so freaking cool. He cleans up all right. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> he certainly does. I still think a grenade launcher would have really brought the look together. Nothing's gonna stop Team Ranger now, Team Junior. Ranger. It doesn't matter what we're called. As long as we're together. You kids sure you won't stick around? You've been real good to this town. Sorry, but we've got another mission. Make it to Haven Academy, no matter what. We've heard the next village over has a working airship. Hmm. No way to know for sure. Scroll signals were bad enough out here when Beacon Tower was still up. Haven't heard from Shion Village in a while. Well, huh? there's only one way to find out. Yeah. Huh. Food. Check. Water. Check. How about ammo? Locked and loaded. Need <laughs> just company. Got the map? Uh, Red's got it. No, I don't. You have it. Wait, what? Guys, please tell me you're joking. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> guys. Guys. <laughs> <It's done>. Guys. <laughs> nope. I was literally just about to ask. Oh, there's... Miss Schnee. <laughs> Interruption, Miss Schnee, but your father wishes to speak to you. Thank you, Klein. Ah, uh, this is one of the nicer openings. Especially the full version of it, that hits hard.
go. Ah, uh, <laughs> like Yang missing her arm. Hazel, Cinder, Tyrion, and Watts. Didn't say her name in this just yet. That's It's cool because like when you're watching the series the way I have like from the beginning till now, it's it does like have a lot more of a stronger meaning to it watching it like through without any stops or anything in between because everything else is just hitting more as you continue through the series so uh, let's just jump straight into the next episode as well give me one moment and we're back <laughs> all right okay oh i forgot there's a lot of daddy issues and drama in this season for her huh Oh, the place is drawn, it looks like. That's huge just to get to see her dad. That's so sad. Good afternoon, sister. A pleasure to see you out of your room for a change. Hello, Whitley. You're in a cheery mood today. Clyde made crepes for breakfast. What do you want? I heard father shouting with someone in his study earlier. Mother? No, she's already drinking in the garden. Mm. I think it was a man. I just wanted to warn you. I heard he had asked to speak with you. I'll be fine. I know you will. You're strong, like Winter. You never liked Winter. True, but you can't deny her resolve. You seem different. And you've been gone. I'll have you know I didn't stop growing while you were away at Beacon. Anyway, good luck with father. Hmm. Same as Freddy and Turkey as I remember in this volume. Maybe it's later I don't like him? Jeez, the girls look sad. Okay, I heard Pira. So the next town is. Huh? She doesn't know how to read a map. <laughs> It would be so cute. Lost. The next town is Shield. My family used to visit it all the time. Oh, yeah. Don't you have, like, four sisters? Uh, seven. <laughs> Yeesh. You know, that actually explains a lot. <laughs> what do you mean? So, <laughs> do you oh, all sorts of stuff. Over here is a great hiking trail, and over here is where we went camping all the time. I got my own tent because I was special. Huh. Right, so my John's voice actor like talking about camping. Didn't yeah, they just keep doing pigtails, but personally, I think I'm more of a warrior's wolf tail kind of guy. That's just a ponytail. I stand by what I said. <laughs> uh, guys? Huh? What? Oh, no. Guys, you need the map. Are people dead? Ren? Over here. Oh. Huntsman. What happened? Who killed all of these people? <coughs> Bandits. The whole tribe.
That's right. crazy. Get him to the next village and try to find a doctor there. Yeah, Red and I can take He's dead. I don't know if he'll make it. He will. He has to. If we get going now, his chances will be better. I can run ahead and look for help. Hey guys. Yeah. Should we bury him? We should go. It's not safe here. I'm just tired of losing everything. <sighs> I'm not talking huh? about the good of my company. I'm talking about the good of Athens, our entire kingdom. That is a load of garbage, and you know it. I beg your pardon. Doc, oh, I want just hear me out. You are a trusted friend and ally to this family, James. But what you're suggesting is absurd. You are blowing it out of proportion. The council will never agree to it. You forget. I hold two seats on the council. Your dust embargo has already cost me millions. I can promise you I have not forgotten. So this is about you. Uh-oh. Vishni. My apologies. I should have been gone by now. It, it's okay. We'll continue this at another time. Indeed. Clyde can show you out. I don't look so like so built. Until next time, John. Please know. You always have a home at Atlas Academy, Vishni. We'll be back in session before you know it. Did you forget your manners while you were away? Yeah. Uh, here he comes the. No, Father. I'm sorry. Can you believe there are still people in the world that blame Atlas for what happened to Beacon, to Vale? Well, they weren't there. No wonder Ironwood wasn't stripped of his rank. I suppose the council trusts him, for better or worse. I trust him. <sighs> Thanks to him, Atlas is forbidden from exporting dust to other kingdoms. A precautionary measure, as he puts it, until we're certain no one is going to declare war. How anyone could possibly find that to be sound logic is beyond me. Which is why the Schnee Dust Company will be holding a charity concert in the coming weeks. We need to show the people of Remnant that we are on their side. That we are all victims of the fall of Beacon. His voice actor. That's wonderful news. I know. And I think it would make a lot of people happy if you performed at the event. And there it is. Excuse me? Many forget that you were there. My own daughter, a Schnee, on the grounds defending another kingdom. We need to remind them. And we need to show them that the Schnee family is just as strong as ever. Are you asking me if I'd like to sing or telling me? I think it would make a lot of I'll start practicing. That's my girl. Uh, seems like she had no choice but to tell him yes. Hey, anyway. right? I always find he keeps his study dreadfully cold. Thank you, Klein. <laughs> His eye colors change. Oh, wow. What the heck? 
think you find. Who the heck is he? Like having, oh, okay. She's like seeing silver in her sleep. She gets, she's in the new animation. Keep your grip tight. Don't forget to keep your front foot forward. Ready? Go. Again. And again. Okay. Now, assuming you aren't cheating, we can take a break. <laughs> I know this can be frustrating. And it can feel like so much effort to progress such a small amount. But I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Mm. I've never met someone so determined to better themselves. You've grown so much since we started training. And I know this is just the beginning. John, I, I, I want you to know that I'm just happy to be a part of your life. I'll always be here for you, John. All right, John, just like we practiced, follow these up. Keep your grip tight. Don't forget to keep your front foot forward. Ready? Go. Again. And again. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a heavy hitter. <laughs> Oh, is this the first episode? Jeez Louise and Martha, we got in there pretty deep into like some pretty already like heart wrenching stuff. <laughs> All right, so uh, basically we got the introduction of well, I mean we get to see the main villain and she rules over Cinder, Watts, Hazel, and Tyrion, as well as Emerald and uh, Mercury, since they're kind of like a package deal with Cinder. Everyone's in new outfits. They're basically all just surviving, training. So this is an introduction episode. We get to see Weiss is back with her family. And Ruby's with team with John and them trying to make their way over to uh, Haven. As now it's their goal to get there and just get more information as far as where they should go in regard to the attack on Beacon. So uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's where we are so far. So it was great. Had some good laughs. Definitely some... Um, I'm not as affected emotionally, I guess, with John and Pyrrha in this season. Like, Volume 3, it, it had it because Pyrrha was there. And then Volume 4 is when I, again, started my investments into Ruby, but didn't, like, take much of, uh, like, attention or information into myself as I do now with the current volume. So, um, you know, I've already been through this, and I'm remembering it as each episode keeps playing. There are some things here and there I don't remember, but... You know, John, he is turning into... He turns into an exceptional character later on, you know. Right now, he doesn't have a semblance. And so he's just basically a human with armor fighting with shield and sword. And now his armor is also a combination, a reflection of Pyrrha's armor, which is really cool. Like, I love his glove so much. <laughs> 
Um, and then Nora and Ren look pretty cool too. Ruby looks amazing as well with her hood. And I love that she's using now uh, packs that have shots in them with elements added to them as well. So that that makes her even more of a formidable opponent to fight with. Ah, uh, that was so cool. <laughs> I really love John. Like, I'm starting to notice as I'm watching this and going through it, I love how John is, like, changing how he looks and things like that. And he's been through a lot as a regular person, so it's pretty easy to relate to him, too, which is really cool. So, um, there's a lot to keep coming and a lot I'm excited for. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching the Ruby Rewatch Wednesdays. Please check out my other content. We have God of High School on Monday, and then Fridays we have Final Space Fridays as well. And so that just kind of keeps going through. Um, new animes will be added to the channel as we hit October, as there's a whole bunch of fall animes to dig into, and I'm super excited for that. So, again, thank you, and hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you next time when we jump into the fray. Peace out.